Hey guys, welcome back to Horton's Flower Farm. So today I'm gonna to be brainstorming with you on the activities and things I have planned for this season at my flower farm. So for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Claudette. I own a you pick cut flower farm in Zone 7B, Long Island, New York. This is my second year flower farming. And this year I wanna have events planned every weekend so that I have something cool to put on my Facebook, Instagram page to draw people into my business. So I've been brainstorming all winter. I've been thinking all spring, talking to friends, what should I do? What are some fun activities that would draw people into my farm? Yes, the flower picking is great, but having something um, extra is fun. So I'm gonna go with, through with you some activities that I think are pretty cool. And then I wanna know your ideas. So I would love for you to comment what you're doing if you have a you pick farm. And if you have any ideas, I would really love to know because I'm open to anything. So here's the first one. And this one was actually from my friend, Roxy. So Roxy, thank you. Um, she had a great idea. So she said, there's mobile petting zoos that will come to you and bring the animals, clean up everything. Um, so that one she told me is $450 for the petting zoo for a couple hours. So I was thinking of pre-selling this event as a um, you pick with the um, petting zoo. So I calculated it out and I think to 450, I would only need about 15 people um, for like $35 per person plus the bouquet cost. So I could pre-sell it as a ticket that way. Um, I'm even willing to take some of the money myself just to get people in, in the door and pay for some of it for myself because I think it's a really cool thing. I think people will come. Um, so that's a, a great idea. And I know my kids are going to love it. So it's fun anyway. So that was the first one um, is a mobile petting zoo. And I do have the room for it. There's a spot on the farm where there's like just open grass. So it would be really cute over there. No people step. So if there, there's poop. Nobody's walking over there. Um, so that's the first idea. Okay, so the next one um, is wine tasting and flower picking. So one of the farms in my area, I follow on Instagram, so they were doing, um, they're not a you pick, they're just a regular, um, they grow flowers just to sell for landscape and they paired a wine tasting, come to their farm and have a wine tasting and then shop and buy the flowers. So I've been calling wineries in the area to see if they'll come to do wine tastings. Um, on my farm. So I think that'd be really cool to have um, a wine tasting and then you go pick your flowers, you can sit and relax. I do have, if you check out my page on Instagram and my website, you'll see the pictures. There's pretty sit sitting areas, umbrellas, so people can hang out. So wine tasting is my second one that I want to be doing. Um, the third one is tarot card reading. So one of my good friends, well, two of my good friends, Jamie and Christine, they read tarot cards and they are actually really, really good. So um, I was talking with them and they agreed to do it. So I'm gonna have a tarot card day where you can come, um, go pick flowers, sit down and do like a 15 minute tarot card reading. Um, I think maybe they'll charge like $15 per reading and you come get your flowers, a $25 bouquet. So something a little cool and different um, to try out. So that's um, one event, another event that I think will be cool. So tarot card reading. Um, okay, so number four is a morning meditation. So my husband um, is very into meditation and mindfulness. So he really wants to do this. I think I'm gonna run this as a weekly mindful, mindfulness and meditation on Sunday and Saturday mornings before the farm opens maybe at 9, 10 a.m. It would be a mindfulness meditation class and then you would go pick your flowers. So I think a lot of people want to do that. It's very beautiful and serene on the farm in the morning. So I think a mindfulness and meditation class would be just really cool. So that's the next one. Um, and I'm thinking also my friend Jamie, who does tarot card readings, also does, um, she's a personal trainer. So she was thinking to come um, to my farm in the mornings before it gets really hot and do um, a workout class, maybe 30 minutes, and then you can go pick your flowers. So that's what I was thinking, a workout class in the mornings. Um, yeah, so that's the next one. Um, so the next one is paint night. So I know that a lot of you have probably done paint night where you paint um, pictures of something, you know, you go to a class. This one I was thinking would be really cool is that you pick your bouquet, you come sit down, and then you paint your bouquet. Um, so it's something more like personalized than just a picture of someone on a beach or it's the bouquet that you picked um, so that you will have it forever in a painting version or a sketch watercolor version. And my talented friend, Christine, has also offered, who does the tarot card reading, she is an artist by trade, 
and she's gonna be running those classes. So I think that's something unique to do because it's not just a paint night, it's, it's your flowers, you pick them, um, something really unique to do. So paint night, yeah, so it's the next one. Okay, so this one I, um, I, for those of you who've watched Bridgerton and are obsessed with that series um, and they have tea all the time, I was kind of inspired by watching that, them drinking tea and thinking, let's do um, a tea, tea party and flower picking. So basically you would come with your girlfriends, your daughter, grandmas, aunts, um, pick your flowers, then come sit down and I would do tea and the traditional little sandwiches and desserts. So like a whole little tea and flower picking day. I think this is a really cool idea. I'm like so excited for it. I actually um, Google to look for like tea cups and stuff and they're like expensive. Like this is like the thing right now, tea party. So if anybody else wants to try this, I think it would really go over well. So actually I found my tea cups. Um, my mom picked them up for me at like a Goodwill place. I didn't have to pay a lot. I think she paid like $25 for a whole set of maybe 12. So I would check out um, Goodwill places, marketplaces for those, because um, the prices are a lot high right now because this is like the hot thing to do. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Okay, so the next one, um, my profession, I am, a, I am a professional photographer. I specialize in newborn photography and family photography. So my farm is going to be the perfect place for family photos. So I will be offering family photography at my farm this year. I'm so excited that I'll be able to um, offer that. So I got these giant peacock chairs. Um, if you haven't heard of them, Google them, put photography shoot with peacock chairs. They're these big giant chairs that have the big back to them and they're gorgeous. And um, if you look um, and Google peacock chairs with flowers, you can stick flowers throughout the whole chair on the top. So I'm so excited to pick my flowers, put them on the chair and do these awesome photo shoots at the farm. So yeah, photo shoots are a great thing to do at the farm. Um, if you're not a professional photographer and you have a farm and you wanna do this, I would contact you know the photographers in the area. You can charge them a fee for being on your farm to do photos and make it a little extra money that way. Um, okay. So the next thing, um, I'm gonna be doing events every um, weekend for the kids. So I've already looked up a lot of different things to do like um, pressed, flower, pressed dried flowers onto rocks and different things with dried flowers that you can do with kids. Um, it's really cute, make vases. Um, and also I Googled, I actually found this, this is called a pressed flower crown. If you wanna Google it, it's called pressed flower crown for kids. It's, um, I forget the paper it's on. It's on like a parchment paper. You cut it out, you put the um, pressed flowers in between, and then they um, make it in, and they could go around with like this pressed flower crown. It's really, really cute. So yeah, every week I definitely want to do events for the kids. So I'll be doing something for the kids every week. Um, and then, yeah, the if you ever seen the last one that I have an idea of doing are the pumpkin bouquets, where in the fall you take a pumpkin, you cut it out, you stick like a little, um, you do a cup or a vase in the middle of the pumpkin and then you put the flowers in it and it's like a centerpiece. So that's something I'll be doing too. So yeah, I have all these activities planned and um, I'm thinking I don't have, I might, I might buy a tent if it gets hot to do some of these activities on their tent. I'm not sure yet. They're expensive, uh, the tents, but we'll see. But I'm really excited for these events. Let me know what you guys think of them. I want to know what ideas you would have for me to do at my um, You Pick Flower Farm. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited for this season. I can't wait to post all this stuff up. I'll obviously be updating you on my page here on my channel um, for the events that I'll be doing so you can see how they go, um, if they're fails or if they're good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around and follow me through this amazing journey I'm going. Thank you guys, bye.